greetings friends and welcome to the global variable gameplay guide in this video i'm going to show you how to make variables persist in your dreams let's get stuck in so friends i've made a little dream here and if i go into the edit you'll see that it's kind of just got three areas i've got a green room a red room and a blue room and all of them are connected by doors so if we give this a playthrough friends what i've got at the moment is i've got my little character and i've got a coin and as you can see, when I collect it, it makes the number at the top go from 0 to 1. Now, if I go to the red room, there's also a coin. And if I collect that, it'll give me 1. But as you can see, my coin sort of counter was reset to 0 when I left. Now, if I go back to the green room, once again, I will have 0 coins, even though I've actually corrected the one, collected the one from the green room already. Similarly, if I go to the blue room, it's the same story. It gets reset every time. So friends, the way that we get around this and the way that we make it so that going into a room will give us a permanent increase in our coins is to use a global variable. Or otherwise, we use a variable that persists in dreams. And this is how we go about doing it. So wherever you've located your particular variable, you don't necessarily need to put it in a character or in an object. You can also put it in sort of a little piece of logic anywhere. But I've put it in my character. And mine is called the coins variable. So at the moment, this is what it looks like. None of these things have, have, I, have been changed. The initial value is zero and so on and so forth. Those have all been left the same. And now we've got one feature over here, which is persistent dream. Persistent dream is what we're going to be using. This is the key sort of feature that we're going to want to use in this particular demonstration. By making it persistent dream, it's going to be able to track how many coins we've collected, not only in this scene of our particular dream, but in all the other scenes as well. But keep in mind that we're going to have to make these changes to every one of our dreams for this particular variable, or every dream or every scene that contains this particular variable. Okay, sweet friends. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to be a little bit fleeky. So at the moment, I've got my coin variable and then this, which is displaying it. What I'm going to do is put this in a microchip, all of this business. And I'm going to add some bells and whistles. And the reason I'm putting it in a microchip, friends, is so that we can actually save the entire microchip with all of our various changes. And then just copy paste it into all of our scenes that use this particular variable. And then we don't have to worry about, you know doing the whole thing, adding in features, changing the persistent dream setting and all that sort of stuff. We can just save it and then load it in. Okay, sweet. So we've got coins, which is set to persist in dream. It looks like this funky map sort of thing over there. We've got our text and then I'm going to put down a little text displayer and I'm going to say, I'm going to align it centrally at the top, maybe move it. Um, I actually, Maybe just go a little bit freeform. And I'm going to go coins. Let's just change all this business. I'm going to say coins. Shushwang. Then this, this number over here, we can also sort of rearrange it and sort of have a good time. Alrighty. Just mess around with it, you know, make some changes as you desire. And yeah, just have a good time. Make all the various changes you want to make. And then you'll be like, okay, cool. So now I have all the things that I want for my sort of persistent variable. This is the global variable that I want to keep. And I'm going to call it global variable. And then I'll put maybe coins, which is the name of the particular variable in brackets so that I know what I'm talking about and that's looking cool and as we remember we've saved it all in a little microchip we can change the little appearance of it if we like you can make it anything you'd like do, 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 do. like a little dude over there and then I'm gonna press X on my microchip and I'm gonna go to the right chair where you've got the picture of the sort of PS4 and the controller I'm gonna go save as a new creation I'm going to go contraption and you can save it as anything really, but contraption is like for stuff that's logic, just to help with you with organizing it. And I'm going to call this, just as before, global variable coins. 
and now it's saved to my creations. Now I'm going to save this, which is the one room in my particular dream. Then I'm going to go back. Then I'm going to go to the next one of my rooms. So I've got three rooms. I've got the green room, I've got the red room, and the blue room. So next I'm going to go to the red room. And I've made a few changes here, and it would be a real pain in the butt if I had to, you know, do all these things and change and so on and so forth. I mean, it's not that crazy. Essentially, all I'm doing is saying persist in dreams. But if, for example, you've got like a collection of variables, or there's a lot of complex stuff and text displays going on and so on and so forth, this is a useful system. You go to your... Sorry, you go to your creations, and you get your global variable microchip, and you just pop it in right there. Then we'll save. Then we will exit creation. The last one is our blue room. We'll go there, edit, get rid of this variable over here, get rid of that one. This is the old one. Put in the new one that we've added. We'll save this. And now we aren't done yet, friends, because we have to update those scenes in our dream itself. So. We're now going to go to the dream itself, global variable three room test, as I've called it. Just going to reset all our progress quickly. And then don't worry about that. That's just kind of like the dreams saving progress. Now I'm going to go edit and you're going to see with the update icon, there's three there, which means there's three things that can be updated or have got newer versions. I'm going to go update now to the green room, update now to the red room and update now to the blue room. And then finally, the last step is to save. So there's actually a few things you have to do when you um, have multiple scenes working at once in your dreams. And then friends, we will, is this the dream itself? This is the dream itself. I'm gonna go in, I've got one coin. Let's go to the red room. I've still got one coin. Now I've got two, let's go to the blue room. Now I've got three coins, woohoo, let's go back to the green room. Uh, and we can keep collecting coins and having a great time. So friends, there you are, that's all it takes to make your persistent dreams or persistent uh, variables. These global variables are really useful because you can use them to not only, you know, add things that are collectible and that you can collect between scenes, but you can also use it to make sort of save points. Um, like if a particular variable is set or it reaches a particular event you could say chapter one for example and when it's chapter one it'll you know spawn the next story sort of progress or whatever it might be but yes friends apart from my rather confusing sentence that i just said there i hope you found this useful this is really all it takes to add persistent variables into your dreams and this way you can yeah as we said make all sorts of collectibles sort of segment your dreams into various chapters all those sorts of things I hope you found it useful, friends. Thank you so, so much for checking this out. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I shall catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out. Hey, thanks for watching, friends. I just want to give a massive shout-out to my Patreon patrons, or as I like to call them, the Mean Knights. Thank you so much, Tap Giles. Ooh, thanks so much, Tap Sensei. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And Salt Levels Max, my first patron. Ah, oh, yee. Friends, if you want to support your boy and get access to some bonus content, consider becoming a patron. Thanks for watching, friends. Peace out.